Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, the uh, one of the questions that I have about the legislation is um, is is there anything in the legislation that is not against the law right now? In other words, are we re we're just restating things that are it's not legal for members of Congress to do insider trading, is it? No, not in our, not in our view. So, is there anything in the in the bill that is new that does not already exist in law as a prohibition? Well, it changes uh, some of the, it narrows in some cases and expands in some other cases terms that are currently in use uh, as the insider trading laws are applied. Could you so, tell me exactly what so you're for, saying there? Yeah, sure. So, for example, it's limited to uh, material non-public information dealing with pending or prospective legislation. There is, is, isn't really such a restriction uh, in the law in general. Um, uh, and so in the case of a members of Congress, if you've got information from the executive branch or a regulatory agency, it wouldn't be covered by this um, legislation. Um, it's limited to securities or the swaps of issu certain issuers, which means it doesn't cover options, it doesn't cover exchange-traded funds, or it doesn't cover mutual funds. Those things um, would generally be covered in insider trading law as it currently, uh, it currently exists. The tipping, there's no explicit provision. Is there a reason for this piece of legislation? Um, again. Would you, would you take this legislation and go to work on uh, members of Congress who have been uh, getting by with things? Uh, would, would this open the door to you? to undergo um, things that right now you won't take on because you don't have enough powers? Um, no, I don't think that's okay. the case. The, uh, what would you, uh, one of my suggestions is that the White House and the uh, administration are completely not mentioned in here. And as I look at the, the numbers of regulation, they have far more impact. In other words, the BART rule, best available replacement technology on coal-fired turbines, uh, MAC boilers, those, those things have far more effect on the price of stocks than much of what we do. Um, is there something, something in law like this that prevents members of the administration and members of the Cabinet from doing the same thing because they the regulations have uh, greater immediate impact on stock prices than anything, the, the 90 percent of the stuff that, that passes through this body. Yeah, um, I mean, I don't know if there's anything um, on the ethical rules or other, other um, aspects that cover the executive branch or others, but we have brought cases, we just brought a case against an FDA chemist, for example, who was trading ahead of FDA drug approval um, announcements, and that was based on primarily um, his agreeing to ethical rules where he agreed uh, not to But do to you think that we should have something that specifically prohibits this? In other words, if we're going to highlight uh, possible actions by people in the Congress and their employees, I mean, we should take in all of Washington because, frankly, the people at home don't identify the Congress and Senate as being the problem. They say Washington is the problem. They see this all rolled up. And so you, yes, no, you think so, maybe, that, maybe? That, that's certainly our current approach is we don't draw any right. distinctions. The, now, when I consider abuses, uh, I look back at Global Crossing. Did you all ever do anything? There were a lot of people on the a lot of people made a lot of money. About seven hundred million dollars appeared to evacuate out of the uh, out of the uh, price of that stock, and that wasn't necessarily just members of Congress, but it was it were people who were associated with members of Congress and people in the the party structure. Have you all ever taken a formal look at that, uh, Congressman? I've only been with the commission since March of uh, Could you get me an answer on that? I could you get me get an answer of what? And this sure. is probably now six, seven years, five or six, seven years ago. Uh, and also I had asked when you all were here previously, uh, I mean, I'm, I appreciate what we're trying to do to get transparency here. I'm still wondering about the big fish. Did, uh, are we still doing anything on May? Is he, uh, we, we investigating him? Are we putting him in jail? Is he gone? Uh, the, the criminal authorities uh, um, uh, put Mr. Madoff in jail, and he's serving a very lengthy prison term. In addition, both us and the criminal authorities have continued 
to charge civilly and criminally a number of individuals associated with him. Yes. Uh, my question, though, was inside the agency. A lot of people were looking the other way. And so I know that we got Mr. Madoff. Have we done any si anything inside the agency? And that's what I've never been able to. Uh, I see my time has uh, lapsed, but if you could get with my office. We've asked this question before. What has happened internally? Because he was existing for a long time. And I know we got him. What about us? part of the agency. Thank you very much. I yield back. 